वैराग्य विद्या निज भक्ति योगा शिक्षार्थ में पुरुष पुराना श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य शरीर धारी कृपा बुद्धिर्यत महाम प्रपद्य मुकम करोति वाचाल पंगुम नंगे ते गिरी यत की प्रातम हम बंदे श्री गुरु दीन तारम ियसनेस practicing krishna consciousness studying krishna consciousness who should be the first listener of the message of mahaprabhu who should be the first listener of the message of shila rupa goswami shila prabhupad shila prabhupad's message is not different from the message of shila rupa goswami shila rupa goswami's message is not different from the message of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and our teaching our practice of krishna consciousness should be everything in the line of the teachings of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu shri narupa goswami shri prabhupad current guru vargas acharyas our guru dev um, it should be in exactly in that line so who should be the first listener in this um, study of krishna consciousness i pray that i be the first listener of this message of mahaprabhu mm. Shila Rupa Goswami, pray that we always remain a student of a Shrimad Bhagavatam for all this message of Krishna consciousness, and pray that somehow or other, somehow or other, meaning by becoming an agent and instrument in the will of the Lord, hmm, by becoming a beggar of mercy, hmm, somehow or other, if we can attract mercy, how do we attract mercy by keeping a good attitude, a proper Krishna conscious attitude? Mm. Not just a good attitude, actually a Krishna conscious attitude. We can pray for the attraction of mercy uh, by being a beggar of mercy. We pray to be an instrument in the will of the Lord, to be an instrument of love, actually to be a servant of love. Uh, this. Uh, प्रेम पुमर्थमान अभिदय नाम भक्ति पुरुषार्थ शिरोमणि प्रेम प्रयोजन सो बाय प्रेइंग टू बी एन सर्वेंट ऑफ द लव ऑफ गॉड हेड एंड फॉर दिस वी ऑलवेज रिमेन अ स्टूडेंट लेसड इज हु इज अ स्टूडेंट एक्चुअली If we can continue to be a student, you know, Krishna is looking for whom? Is he looking for a teacher or a disciple? He's looking for a student. He's looking for a disciple. Who attains Krishna? Not a teacher. A student attains Krishna. A disciple. The journey of Bhagavad Gita we see, na Arjuna declares, "Okay, Shishyas te am sadhi mam tu am prapanna." The journey is becoming a disciple. One who has become a disciple, okay, yes. Krishna Guru Goram will attain him, will have him. So we pray that we ever remain a student of this message of Krishna consciousness. And what is Krishna consciousness? It is a love-based practice where love is at the center. Uh, and we understand from our teacher what that uh, love is the most talked about phenomena. love is the most talked about emotion most talked about phenomena in this world but the least understood love is the most talked about most described most desired most described most desired phenomena emotion in this world but the least understood or the most misunderstood societal love is bodily based and the love we are talking about is pure non sectarian all together uh, krishna conscious love at the center radha krishna prithyat guru gorang prithyat whatever we do we do it for the pleasure of guru and gorang for the pleasure of gorang for the pleasure of 
the divine couple. So we pray to be an instrument in the hands of the will of the Lord to serve this pure love, pure teachings, pure wisdom. And Srila uh, Rupa Goswami in Padyavali, he brings out, he helps us understand what? Ahira Gati Premna Swabhavo Kutila Bhavet Ahira Gati Premna Swabhavo Kutila Bhavet Atta Hetor Ahetoscha Atta Hetos Ahetoscha Yonor Man Udanchati Ahir Eva Gati Premna Ahir meaning snake Ahir Eva just like Gati yeah, the workings, the movements, Aheriva Gati Premna Swabhava Kutila Bhavet Atar Hetosa Hetoscha Yunor Man Udanchati. So the workings of love, the quar the workings of love, the movement of love, love is like the crawling of a snake. You know, the walking of a snake is zigzag, it is never straight. It's never straight. Uh, that is love. <laughs> Swabhava Kutila Bhavet by nature. Yeah. Swabhava means by nature. Kutila is like crooked, no, not simple, crooked. <laughs> there is always something something fishy, let's say. Crooked. Swabhava Kutila Bhavet. It is by nature, it is crooked love actually. Atta Hetosa Hetoscha. There is no cause or no uh, aheto. No, no, not cause. You huh? know, man udanchati. Mm. Man means sulky mood. Mm. So such is love and this highest love is demonstrated in the pastimes of the divine couple which we see demonstrated by Srila Rupa Goswami and our other Acharyas and all. So uh, they say na, actually that in love praise is like a complaint. When you praise someone in <laughs> love, if you're praising someone, now, oh, welcome. Oh, uh, very soon you called me back, let's say. Sometimes happen now, you are in the middle of a phone call, another call comes back, okay, you hang to hang up and then you call back uh, the person, your friend or something. Oh, very soon you returned your call back. No, he's such a gentle person. He's very time bound person is very committed lawyer. so when you praise someone in love it's actually like you are poking the person or making us a, a, a sarcastic comment eh? kataks kataks and it's it's this uh, kataks na radha kripa kataks that is what we want a glance uh, just a merciful glance and this, this merciful glance, this kataksha comment, a passing comment, a side comment. Huh? So it is not at all straight, the workings, the dealings of love. Although love knows no language, no language. And no one can put it into words or describe or define. And anyone who says that, okay, this is what love means and this I've done a PhD on love. He knows nothing. Love is in the experience. It cannot be put into words or something. It has to be experienced. And such transcendental love is... Uh, of course, it is something beyond the experience of this mundane realm. And uh, it, is, uh, it is something which is expanding by nature which is wanting more and more and there is no tinge of any uh, modes of material nature say that. there is no tinge of any downward transformation to it in societal sense everything is an expiry date comes to an end and it loses its taste in societal sense the highest joy as we understand uh, Srimad Bhagavatam Rishab they also helps us understand now this uh, uh, this methoni uh, this uh, male and female bodily attraction na? Uh, that is the highest but uh, in in even in uh, krishna consciousness 
that is also the adi ras the ujwal ras eh, is the highest eh, aham mimmati eh, that is also the highest but it is completely pure so in societal sense we see pumsam sriya methuni bhava metan tayor mitho ridaya granthi mahur ato griya chetra sutapta vidya janasya mohoyam aham mimmati the entire universe is stuck in this i me and mine bodily identity and bodily based love set uh, but the love in krishna consciousness is completely pure out of this mundane realm all together so we try to understand this love based practice and what is the message and what it means so when you praise someone in love it's like a complaint it's actually a complaint and when you complain in love that's like showing okay how much he or she loves how much is the love when you complain so when in love actually you don't stop complaining rather you complain a lot you complain because in love there is no satisfaction there is no satiation there is no satiation more and more greed and greed evolves and evolves If one has no complaint in love, then one is actually not in love. Such an irony, na? In society, we complain because we have not found love. Say, okay, I want it, I want it. But when in pure love, one complains even more. Let's say, uh, and such is love. Even though having the object of love, one experiences no. I am bereft. I don't have it. I don't have it. Uh, such is humility. so the talking of love is all paradoxical or it is paroksh in paroksh paroksh meaning indirect it is not at all direct not at all direct no and the ultimate indirect message we see is the message of shila rupa goswami in his padyavali we see it coming in chaitanya charitamrita is also mentioned स्मेरा भंगी त्रय परिचिता साचि विस्तीर्ण दृष्टि वंशी न्यस्ता धर किशलया उज्ज्वला चांद्र के नाम गोविंदाख्या हरितनुमित के तीर्थ उपकंठे महाप्रेक्षिस्तास्तव यदि सखे Pandu sange sti range. So it should be coming on the screen kindly, and someone of you can read translation. Maybe it is in Chaitanya Charita. Smeram bhangi traya parichita. Sachi vistinna drishti. Okay, Natli, please read translation. My dear friend, if you are indeed attached to your worldly friends, do not look at the smiling face of Lord Govinda as he stands on the bank of the Yamuna at Keshigata. Casting sidelong glances, he places his flute to his lips, which seem like newly blossomed twigs. His transcendental body, bending in three places, appears very bright in the moonlight. Sure. So this is the message of Sri Narupa Goswami, na, my dear friend. If you are indeed attached to your worldly friends, now complete indirect message actually. Huh? If you are indeed attached to your worldly friends, friends, do not look at the smiling face of Lord Govinda. What is meaning to say is, Baba, look at the smiling face of Lord Govinda as he stands on the bank of the Yamuna at Kesi Ghat, casting sidelong glances. he places his flute to his lips this is all to create a hype you know baba create a hype in krishna con actually it is only krishna conscious hype which can sustain itself hmm. hype of rindavan hype of initiation hype of practicing krishna consciousness hype of guru gorang hype of the transcendental realm easily sustain itself so societal hype no they are time bound uh, they have a limit and expiry 
So casting sidelong glances, he places his flute to his lips, which seem like newly blossomed twigs. His transcendental body bending in three places appears very bright in the moonlight. So the message is what? That not do not look, Baba, do look, do look. As sometimes children, na, they are told, na, hey, do not wear these shoes. Means what? Okay, wear them shoes. If you tell a child, hey, do not eat this food, so the child would go and eat the food. Hey, do not sit here, so the child will sit there. Likewise, we are children. Na? We are children, meaning we are so conditioned, so heavily. So Rupa Goswami is trying to <laughs> help us, okay? That uh, do look at the smiling face of Govinda. Uh, how do go to Vrindavan? And in Vrindavan, go to the Yamuna bank on the bank of Yamuna at Kesigar. Do listen to his flute. Uh, do look at the smiling face of Govinda. Uh, and then only you will be freed from all worldly attachments. Otherwise, there is no hope. There is no hope. So the language of love is in indirect. It is in paroks. It is not direct. And this message Rupa Goswami actually brings. And we see um, throughout actually... Our ultimate inspiration has to be the gopis. Our ideal role model altogether has to be the gopis. And we see uh, the gopi gita, the message of the gopis, uh, so much of kataks there. Uh, so much of kataks. Kataks meaning again this uh, comment, uh, side comment, and all. So throughout in the gopi gita, no? Apparently, they are praising, but they are <laughs> complaining or blaming to Krishna. They are complaining. Uh, apparently, it seems like they are praising, but actually, it is not a praise. Jayati te dhikam janmana braja shrayata indira Shashvatatrahi Daita Drishyatam Dikshutavakas Tvai Dritasavas Tvam Vichinvate Now, so good it sounds like the glory gopis glorifying lord Sri Krishna, glorifying vrindavan and everything but actually they are glorifying no doubt vrindavan but they are not glorifying krishna as such or in the glories also they're making a side comment they're meeting making again a katak so now jayati te dhikam janman avraja my braj is already glorious na? the kirti the glory of braj is well known in the three worlds na? Uh, but with your birth, and this is a gopi speaking to Lord Sri Krishna. Krishna, the Braj is already glorious. But with your birth, Jayati Te Dhikam, uh, it has become exceeding, exceedingly even more glorious. Adhikam, uh, increasingly more glorious. Janmana Braja, just by your birth. Uh. Shrayata Indira Shashvatatrai. Indira, na? who is Indira? Lakshmi, goddess of fortune. Shreyata reciting, she is here eternally, Shashvatatrai. Hmm? What is she doing in uh, Lakshmina? Hearing the pastimes of Lord Sri Krishna, she wanted to have a direct relationship with Krishna. She came to Vrindavan, she got to know Vrindavan, okay, no, I will attain Krishna, I will have this opulence. And she is reciting perpetually in Braj even now and doing tapasya, doing austerity. Problem is she is not taking the subservient uh, nature, the mood, serving the gopis. Hmm. So she is continuously doing austerities even up until now in Vrindavan. And this the gopis are saying, look at the glory of Vrindavan. Vrindavan is anyways glorious now with your birth. It has become even more glorious and the you know, goddess of fortune is residing here. Daita drishyata. Dikshutavakas. Daita meanings, oh dear one, oh loved one, dear one, sweet one. Trishyatam, by your glance. 
Drishya Tamba Yoga. Dikshu Tavakas. Dikshu in all directions. Tavakas. Yeah. Us. We are. Tvai Tritasavas. Tvai for your sake. Tritasavas. Yeah. We are somehow holding ourselves. Tritasavas. Yeah. We are sustaining our life. We are holding our breath. We, are, we have not given up our life. We are searching for you. Now, Daita Drishyatam Dikshutavakas, you are present in all directions, everywhere. Braj is glorious, anyways, with your birth, it has become even more glorious. Goddess of fortune, Lakshmi, is residing here. You are present all over in all directions and we are searching for you when everything is so glorious and all and you are giving freely, you are giving darshan in Braj to everyone. Then why are you isolating us? Hmm. You are giving darshan to everyone and as we see further on, maybe we will see how their prayers evolve, the gopis, their comments and all uh, uh, evolve. That uh, you are giving darshan to everyone, but why are you ignoring us? Saradu dasaye sadhu jat sad sarasi jodhara shri musatrisha Surat Nath Te Shulk Dasika Varad Nigna To Neha Kimvada In each of their expression, their mood, they are glorifying, but in this glorification, actually, they are making a taunt, they are making a comment. Saradudasaye, sadhu jatasal, sadhu meaning beautiful, very excellent, very beautiful. Saradudasaye, sarad, no, autumn season, and in this autumn season, sadhu jatasad. So, in this autumn season, in the banks, lakes, and lakes, and all, lotus flower is growing. Sarasi jodara, Sri Musha Drisha, Sri meaning beauty. Uh, Drisha, wow, uh, with your glance, uh, beautiful glance and all. Uh, Suratanathate, oh Lord of our life. Uh, Suratanathate, Ashulka Dasika, Asul, Sulk meaning some payment, Asulk meaning without payment. Uh, we are your maid servants for free. Uh, dasika, Varada Nignato, you are the giver, Varada, na? you are the giver of benedictions, Nignato. Neha Kimvada. Is it not that you are actually the giver of benedictions, but you are killing us? So, like, um, what they are saying is in um, uh, the uh, the this um, in autumn season. Uh, autumn season, we say the lotus growing. Now, imagine autumn season is. Anyways, very beautiful season. Then a beautiful scenery in a lake in autumn season. And the middle of the lake, or there's lots of lotuses blooming, growing. And uh, in the middle of the lotus, now lotus in itself is beautiful. And you're the center of the lotus, the center of something which is beautiful. The center of it is even more beautiful. So this lotus in the autumn, in pond, beautiful glowing, growing lotus and all. Eh? And uh, it is mm, just by your glance, eh? so, uh, just by your glance, it, it grows even more. It becomes even more beautiful. Shri Musa Drishana, with your glance, it becomes so beautiful. Eh? And you are the giver of all benedictions. Then why are you killing us? Why? You give all benediction. We have come here to have your glance. Why are you why are you playing this hide and seek with us? Come forward now. Come forward. First of all, you only ask us to come. It is you only who played the flute, right, Krishna? You played the flute, and with with your playing the flute, each and every gopi individually will were getting their individual message. 
you were individually calling us. Each and every gopi was get, getting a particular message to come. And we dropped everything we left and we came. Uh, so first you <laughs> kill us by with your flute, with your song, uh, wanting us to come here and you see us. And now you run away from us and you hide away from us and you kill us in separation. So what are you doing? This is not good. Na? To, to, you know, to kill someone half-hearted, say, na? like that, hmm? half, it's not good. Na? So, Baba, you are leaving us nowhere. Neither we are, we can return to the home nor we can stay in the forest. Is this any good? Neha Kim Bada, is it not like killing? Hmm? Just like physically killing is killing or what? This is also killing. Lots, lots. If we see, Visha Jala Payad. Visha Jala Payad. Vyal Rakshasad. Varasa Maruta. Vedyutanala Vishamayatmajat Vishvato Bhayat Rishabhate Vayam Rakshita Muhu Visha Jala Payad Vyala Rakshita Visha means poison Jala Payad Yamuna, water of Yamuna was contaminated by Kaliya, right? And then you, you saved us from the poisonous uh, which was created by Kaliya. You killed Kaliya and saved us. Vyal Rakshasat, so many Rakshas, na? demons, Agasur, Bhamasur, Desasur, Daitasur, you killed so many, Trinavrata and all. Then uh, Vishajala Payad, Vyana Rakshasa, Varasa Marutad. Now Indra, na? he sent this heavy rain. You saved us, lifting over the hill. Vedyutanalat, na? Uh, Vrisha Mayat Majat. Now this Maya hmm, Asur, uh, uh, Vyamasur, uh, so many Asur, na? Aristasur, Vyamasur, you kill them, all of them. All of this, so. Uh, so many times, repeatedly, 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 you have saved us. So now they are counting. You saved us from Kaliya. You saved us from this demon, that demon, this demon, that demon, Indra, Govardhan, Hindu lifted so many times. When not have you not given us protection? So why are you not saving us tonight? Why are you not coming forward? Why are you not saving tonight? You know, generally devotees go out doing book distribution. Hmm? And Maratha time, once a year, they go maybe some some particular locality or shops eh, or businesses or this uh, eh, some person. And every year they go. Okay. So now every year they go, they go. Okay. These are my set people, let's say. Eh. We go in their shops or houses once a year and we give them Bhagavad Gita or different books and all and we get donation from them. So now imagine if you have been going for five years and collecting Lakshmi. But this time you go and the person doesn't give Lakshmi. Is it not awkward? Oh, why? Baba, how, what, a, what a change. Why change all of a sudden? I've been coming five years. We have been having exchanges, take, exchanging books and Lakshmi and all. Take these books I've got for you and uh, give us kindly some donation, some Lakshmi. So the gopis are saying, Baba, repeatedly you saved us, saved us from this and that, this and that. And why are you not appearing tonight? Why are you leaving us in danger in the forest like this? Huh? Is it any good? Does it suit you? Nakhalu huh? gopika nandano bhavan akhil dehinam antarat madri vikhan sarthi to vishma gupta ye sakhe ure ivan satvatam kule you are born in the satvat kul you come from a royal family a good dynasty a prestigious dynasty. Na? 
have some some respect have some decency at least for your dynasty for the family you come from have keep some respect for them baba you have a name uh, respect that name sakhe ude ivan satva tam bole oh friend na khalu gopika you are the son of nanda no bhavan na you are the son of nanda you are the son of yashoda ha Uh, then nanda no akhila dehi naam you are residing in everyone's hearts akhila dehi naam antar atma dre in the inner hearts and all you are residing everywhere we can sarthi to because of the prayers of lord brahma you appeared to give protection so why are you not appearing for in front of us and giving why not giving us protections you cannot neglect us baba you you we know that you have appeared to save lord brahma on the play play plight of lord brahma and you are here to give protection to each and every, every devotee you reside in every de- living entity's heart you know what is in our heart then come and reciprocate satvatam gule you come from a good dynasty baba so this is the thing in love praise is complain and complain is praise there is no saturation in love no satisfaction no way ever increasing and this rupa goswami is telling us meram bhangi traya parichita sachi vistinna drishti vamsi nyasta dhira kisalam adhara kisalam ujvalam chandrakena govinda akyam haritanumita what is the akya akya meaning name what is his name govind by the name of govind Uh, like we were saying na uh, yesterday what what is in a name what is in a name baba everything is in a name in name is the form uh, the qualities the past times everything is in the name and uh, w- what is it we are doing studying krishna consciousness again we, we were saying na damodarastkam chaurastkam shistastkam bhaktastkam this uh, jagannathastkam uh, this uh, nandastakam whatever astakam when uh, we read this hymns verses prayers what are these these are words these are names actually glorifying lord shri krishna no? all these are glorifying lord shri krishna so govinda akyam haritanumita keshi teeta upakante ma prekshista tava yadi sake bandhu sange stirange no? so um actually the message is this so what happens once upon a time in vrindavan uh, a girl gets married and she comes to vrindavan from nearby vraj community or outside maybe even outside vraj mandal she gets married and comes to vrindavan uh, as a newly married woman girl uh, daughter in law of vraj now hmm? she comes to vrindavan and in vrindavan it is a known thing everyone knows everyone knows that this krishna is up to something beware of krishna uh, beware of krishna especially for young girls uh, married or unmarried baba he is he is dangerous he is to watch out and thing is never krishna got caught he got caught red handed but what stealing butter stealing milk he never got caught red handed <laughs> with any gopi no never never but everyone in vrindavan knows he is so attractive he is so beautiful is the darling of vrindavan so everyone finds his their attraction in krishna akhila dehi naam baba he is the source of everyone antar atma trik why not na he is the source of each and every atom uh, living entity he is the center of our existence so uh in vraj everyone knows okay krishna is very extremely beautiful and especially young girls married and married they fall for him and he also the way he acts and all is quite flirtatious or the way he acts dance talks and things and see see na how he stand standing three bent forward dead in everything about him is um, beyond class altogether so this girl she got married and she came to vrindavan and her mother in law and daughter in law her sister in law 
they try to kind of gently keep her okay they don't want to tell her much about krishna in the sense okay beware 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 because when you tell someone a lot okay beware of krishna then she may be thinking even more about krishna but at the same time they don't want to hide also because they want to give her some information so they in a balanced manner tell her about krishna and uh, like initial days of marriage staying in the house okay you stay in the house you don't need to go out we will fetch water we will um, put the clothes for washing we will wash the clothes we will hang them out and on you stay in jos maybe you can do some cooking or take rest or you can help in chopping vegetables and all but outside jobs and all laundry and things water we can do it let us do um, the daughter mother in law and the uh, sister in law in sis says and you can look into the courtyard little bit cleaning maybe if you want you can do and all now this they are trying to protect this young gopi at least one young gopi if she can be saved if she can be protected from uh, from the glance of krishna from the beauty of krishna why not no they are thinking like this and krishna he knows he knows what is going on he knows definitely a gopi has entered vrindavan a gopi new gopi has come and how can he not pay a visit how can he not see her how can he not he is the most restless baba heavily restless yeah. such a restless he is mind and where is his mind and focus you see heavy 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 honestly what wow so heavy once upon a time another past time what is it so happens once upon a time they say it was krishna's happy birthday actually huh? or once upon a time uh, mother yashoda uh, she wants to train krishna that in how to look after calf huh? so she wants to train krishna in worshiping a cow that okay how we do go puja and you should be doing go puja na uh, worship of cows so she tells okay bring that calf a particular calf now nanda baba has 900000 cows and calves so one particular calf bring her to uh, to the inner courtyard from the stable bring her to the inner courtyard and i will teach you how to do worship okay krishna goes and apparently that day balram is not in the house here rohini is not there and krishna goes okay yes and now as he walks na his his worn anklet mother puts him anklet na and he's making those noise and then krishna well growing up krishna balram they used to run around naked in the house uh, play and run around naked in the house oh, all sorts of things they used to do seeing someone in the street or the front gate they will see and they will feel afraid and they will run back to their mom crawling and all everything yeah? so but now mother yashoda she puts krishna a waist band a waist band which has got some lights some dangling items and Uh, uh glazing items and it makes some good noise huh? so now krishna is walking with his anklet and this uh, waist band and it is making some noise to move to move and he's walking also <laughs> he's shaking and walking and he's wondering where is this noise coming from where is this sound coming from uh, only in krishna we see he does not have any avesh of god head other vishnu murti they all have a sense that okay i am god krishna in vrindavan he is completely controlled he is subdued he, he he his ego his pride in vrindavan is i am the son of yashoda i am the son of nanda baba i am the prince of vrindavan i am the son of king nanda that is his pride these cowherd boys are my friend i am gop jati that is his pride i come from a gop family hmm. cowherd family no god and any of this and this is why brahma lord brahma came and offering stutis and prayers and hymns and krishna is okay what are you doing what's going on what are you saying i'm here with my friends and what is it you are doing why on i don't understand indra came and all okay indra okay fine go hmm. so uh, krishna is seeing that 
waistband and all dangling he becomes confused where is the sound coming from where is the sound coming from anyway so he goes to bring this calf and there is some wrestling now he is trying to catch the calf and calf runs away oh mistake again he tries to play some trick and all okay calf i need you my mom has asked me to bring you a calf i need to show my mother that i am a big boy now i can handle i am responsible i can do as i am being told i can show i will prove it to her come and i am taking you to worship you only baba huh? will worship you will honor you will we have got some items for you we'll give you nice grass and everything and we have got jewelry and dresses for you come on so he's trying to have a dialogue with the calf <laughs> he's speaking and trying to catch run finally <clears throat> after a lot of efforts and wrestling and this and uh, hard labor and maneuvering and talking and he manages to uh, have a relationship with the calf eh? catch the calf and build a friendship with the calf and now he's taking the calf he is taking the calf from the outside stable let's say coming to the courtyard and then going inside and all and as he is walking with the calf as he is taking the calf just at a close distance on top of a wall on top of a ceiling what does he see from the roof in the raft is hanging uh, by rope a pot of butter a pot of fresh butter is hanging a pot of butter is hanging and he looks left he looks right there is no one there is no one around so at least one good thing mum is not watching mother is not watching so that is he is relieved but generally when he steals butter he is with his friends and his friends they make a phalanx they make a हाथी घोड़ा पाल की जय कन्हैया लाल की ना दे मेक अ सॉर्ट ऑफ एन एन आर्मी फैलेंस दे ऑल बॉयज मेक अ सर्कल एंड देन बिटवीन टू बॉयज दे सम वन क्लाइम्स ऑन देयर शोल्डर अनदर सर्कल लाइक दिस लाइक दिस दे मेक एंड देन कृष्णा फाइनली गोज ऑन टॉप ऑफ ऑल ऑल ऑफ दिस बॉयज एंड हिट्स द butter pot and takes the butter out but in this instance he doesn't have monkeys around he doesn't have his friends around there's no one around and he's seeing butter slightly dripping from the pot oh my god this sight of butter dripping from the pot and he's seeing this fresh butter the smell of it and this fresh butter in this pot and how can he not break the but pot now how can he not take butter how can he not taste it he is so restless look yashoda asks him to bring the calf he forgot he forgot somehow he managed to get the calf but then he forgot and now he is looking for help there is no one to help what does his mind do <laughs> he is thinking how can i get this matter you know what he did uh, he is looking into the calf he is looking into the eye of the calf the calf is looking into krishna's eyes no 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 yes 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 no 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 yes 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 you got it what i mean no no that's not going to happen yes yes we make it happen krishna then pulls that calf brings the calf at the right at the bottom center of the butter pot and says okay it will be gentle harmless huh? not much harm it will be quick we both cooperate please i am your friend you be my friend we help each other and krishna climbs into that calf he climbs okay he manages to climb on the, uh, the top of the calf on the back of the calf so yeah. and then <clears throat> going into the calf then he holds on to the butter pot uh, he somehow he manages to hold into the butter pot and then he is putting his hands inside the butter pot he has put his hands inside the butter pot to take the cream out to take the butter out and he's taking the butter out and the cream out and he's starting eating it okay taking the cream and the butter out and whew, eating it fully he has one or two uh, slices let's say is one or two mm, malai cream he has it once or twice and what happened in this the calf she just sneaks out she sneaks out from his feet and she goes back to her mom she goes back or she is standing at a far distance having some grass and watching and as the calf sneaks out krishna is like freaking out oh no 
he lost his support he lost his support and he's like okay someone help someone help <laughs> then with both his hands he's clinging into the butter pot there's no support he's hanging in the air he's like okay i'm 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 literally on in the air hanging about there's no support i can fall down anytime this what butter pot may come down and all and he's now crying he's shouting maya help maya help maya bachao maya mo to phas gaya maya mo to phas gaya maya mo ko bachao mo ko bachao he's shouting maya come maya come mother please come come i am stuck i am stuck i am to mo to phas gaya maya mo ka karu and yashoda comes running Yashoda comes running, hearing his call. She comes running, seeing what's gone. He's calling me. He's in danger. Or and then she sees from a distance, and she puts her hand on her hand, and she says, "Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna." She puts her hand on her hand, hand on her head, and okay, no, you save yourself. You work it out. You how to come down? No, no, Maya. She asks, "Okay, how come? How did you land up there?" How how did this all happen? Why and how? Didn't I tell you to go and get a calf? Uh, Maya, Maya, so I told you, Moko. Hmm, you told me. You did tell me to get a calf, and I went with that business only. I started off good. I managed to have a dialogue as well. I managed to calm her down and everything, and I managed to bring her with me. Yeah. But what to do, Maya? This is me, my mind, my terrible mind. Seeing this butter pot. Hanging in between and butter dripping, I I forgot Maya. Honestly, I forgot, and now I'm hanging in the air. Please help Maya, get me out. Please help. I may fall down, my knees may hurt. I may break my back. I don't know. I may start bleeding. My knees may bru bruise, and I may not be able to play with my friends. I'm worried Maya, and I'm not feeling comfortable here, hanging in the sky. <laughs> I'm not feeling. <laughs> and Yasoda says, "No, how did so Maya? What to do? I bought this calf. I got. I'm telling you honestly. I got her on on the calf, and the calf ran away. And now I'm in the air. Please help, please help. And butter in his face, all over hands with butter. And okay, so Maya Yasoda comes. Okay, brings him down. <laughs> so this is Krishna Baba. This is Krishna. This is Krishna. Oh, amazing Krishna. Uh, so." Where where yeah so this Gopi she comes to Vrindavan she comes and uh, newly married young Gopi she comes to Vrindavan and uh, she's warned she is warned by everyone but now Krishna being Krishna he wants to see this Gopi he wants so what happens one day in the morning as usual morning program. What is the morning program? After breakfast, having good breakfast, Krishna he prepares his flute. Mother brings his bag with prasadam, with and fruits and things and all. And then Krishna takes his tiffin and he goes with Balram. Mother tells Balram, "Look after your young brother and don't let him go here and there. Uh, play nicely but carefully." Um, And other boys are outside already outside Krishna's house waiting for him. Krishna ch checks his flute and other items, and they go. Krishna, Balram, other boys, and mostly many ladies also assemble around Yasoda's house this time in the morning. There's so much of love for Krishna naturally more than their own children and all. So this elderly Gopis, Yasoda, Nanda Baba, elderly Gopas, and these young friends of Krishna, even some young Gopis. Eh? They all come out and uh, now look at the procession. Wow, the calves are going in front. These boys are going behind. Big cows going at the front. Big gopas going, and these boys are following. And uh, Yashoda, she and uh, Rohini, tears in their eyes, mm, seeing of Krishna, and they walk. They walk half a mile or uh, a mile or. They walk some distance, and uh, then Krishna Balram gives them assurance. Other friends gives them assurance that Maya return home. Maya go home. We are fine. We are safe. My feet is not hurting. Balram is here. He will look after me, and I will also behave. And I will return home soon. I will return home. Well, go home, cook, and uh, yes, make me kachori, make me this. Uh, I will return home and have soon dinner with you. 
So find Yashoda, uh, Rohini, other elder Gopas, Gopis, Gopis, they leave, and Krishna Balram with other friends and all, they move on, they go in the forest. Uh, so now as Krishna is going, he knows, he knows about this new Gopi. She has come in the town, she has come in Vrindavan. How can I not see her? So what does Krishna do? One of the calf, he pinches the calf. And he pinches the calf in such a manner that the calf gets the message, okay, what is my, what is required? What is Krishna's desire? So he pinches this calf and this calf goes running where she, she kind of dissects from the other calves and all. And she goes running in a diagonal in a different direction where actually this gopi lives. She goes there and Krishna tells his other friends and all, oh, this calf, wait, wait. Okay, you take the other calves and you all go. You all don't wait. Move forward. I'm just returning. I will bring this calf. I will join you soon. Okay, okay. So other boys, Balaram, they move on. And Krishna goes apparently, apparently looking for this calf. But we, he very well knows where is this calf gone? Where is, where is she? So Krishna goes and this calf has gone. And she's like, <laughs> you know, wanging his tail, her tail like this, and she's going, she's literally kind of a few steps away, few meters away from the house of this new gopi. And this new gopi, she has come out in the courtyard. She's doing what? Cleaning, hmm? sweeping the courtyard. And Krishna now looks. Hmm? So maybe Natalie, please bring the verse again. Smeram bhakti, uh, smeram bhangi tre parichita. Sachi visti nadrishti. Vamsi nyasta dharaki salayam ujvalam chandra kena. So now see, the calf is outside the house, pretty much outside the house, uh, chewing some grass there. And this young gopi, she is sweeping the house like she's like i'm at my in-laws i'm married i'm at my husband's house and she's nicely gently trying to be a good uh, uh, housewife uh, and all she's sweeping the house cleaning the um, courtyard that my mother-in-law sister-in-law have gone out to fetch water and let me also assist them and krishna is coming Krishna is coming walking now look smeram bhangi traya parichita Sachi visti nadrishtim Vamsi nyasta dharakiselayam Uchvalam chandra kena Govinda kyam haritanumita Keshi tirtha upakante Ma preksista tavayadisake Bandhu sange stirange. Smeram bhangi traya parichitam. Smeram meaning smilingly Krishna is coming. Now, uh, imagine, see this, na? These, these shlokas, they are udgar, they are very meditative. Uh, they are a pastime in that themselves all together. It uh, opens up a realm all together. What realm? Krishna is walking. Hmm. And he's making sidewalks. Uh, Smiling, the smeram bhangi traya parichitam. Traya parichitam is three bent fold from three places we know na, neck, waist, and knees. Sachi vistinna drishtim. And he's making a sidelong glance. Vistinna drishtim. Vamsi nesta dhara kisalayam. Vamsi is flute. Nesta dhara, dhara lips. On his lips, he's, he has got the flute, playing the flute. Hmm. Ujvalam Chandra Kena on this Ujvalam very bright and this Chandra Kena moonshine Govind Akyam Haritanumita Akya is what? Akya mean giving the name Govind Haritanumita uh, Hari the transcendental body Hari Ita Keshi Tirtha Upakante on the banks of uh, uh, Yamuna uh, in the Keshi Ghat near Keshi Ghat where Kesi demon was killed. Mahaprikshista tavaya disake bandhu sange stirange. So now Krishna is smilingly uh, coming towards that gopi's residence. Wow. Smilingly he is coming. He knows he is free. The calves and all everyone has gone. Uh, he knows he is free. So he is now 
uh, smilingly making his way side long glances or this side walks he is now making his way with flute now he is playing his flute see he is playing his flute in a particular tone and and this this little does she know this young gopi little does she know she is sweeping the courtyard <laughs> but what is happening she is listening to the flute now the flute is entering her ear Ooh. and that is causing ripples in her consciousness that is causing waves in her consciousness that is causing her ecstasy that vibration is shaking her up all together and she is becoming agitated that where is this sound vibration coming from what sort of this sound vibration is why am i losing control over myself i i want to catch this sound vibration i want to see so and krishna is smilingly walking and this you know in the residence in the courtyard in the house wall four or eight bricks were broken four or eight bricks let's say of, of the wall are broken in such a way that someone from inside can see outside and the person from outside can also see inside so krishna is walking this girl is now standing there and she can see from the broken walls uh, from inside she can see what is she seeing a calf nearby hanging around yeah good looking beautiful looking calf and she is eating some grass and then she sees what the feet of krishna hmm? feet of krishna moving towards her coming forward towards the house this feet coming through and then slowly steadily from the feet she sees the knees let's say then the waist of krishna uh, then the chest of krishna and coming forward the face of krishna now this is a warning for anyone going vrindavan baba this is a real warning honestly uh, what do they say better late than sorry na or something na so it is our obligation it is, it is our duty actually na to to warn to let let them know in advance na what do they say for warned is better before warned something something they say na so this is a warning that baba do not go to vrindavan no no don't go to vrindavan because if someone wants to carry on with his worldly life and friends family social media and football all of this sports social media friends relatives business money studies and all then baba don't don't think about vrindavan no now is not the time it's not a good thing why to disturb someone's life and plan like this now so don't go to vrindavan but even if you still happen to go to vrindavan let's say for some reason if you still fancy going to vrindavan if it so happens that you go to vrindavan you happen to go to vrindavan or you become so daring you take this risk okay i go to vrindavan okay fine fine you have reached vrindavan you have entered vrindavan then what don't go on kesi ghat hmm? don't go there don't go near yamuna don't go near yamuna don't go on the banks of yamuna don't go on parikrama marg baba vrindavan you have entered don't go on parikrama marg okay parikrama marg if someone is wanting still a bit daring went to parikrama marg then don't go near uh, yamuna river huh? okay still someone is daring then don't go near kesi ghat near don't go near this uh, kadamba tree there don't go don't go near shingar but if someone is still hanging around there okay okay fine then don't go near kesi ghat searching for the flute the sound of the flute listening for the sound of the flute don't do that don't do that honestly if you have gone this far have some dahi papdi bhalla chaat tikki pakoda golgappa and all and return yeah, have some spicy savouries and all some juice 
and return baba return uh, take a u-turn don't go that far no? uh, don't go and then then don't go listening to the flute uh, trying to see listen to the flute or oh, if i get to hear the flute if i get to hear the flute what if i get to hear the flute i can sustain i can maintain i can manage don't do this risk don't take this risk even if someone wants to take this risk okay let me listen to the flute and someone gets to listen to the flute as well someone gets to listen to the flute as well then don't go seeing for that sound vibration, searching for that sound vibration. Where is this sound vibration coming from? Don't go, don't go. Even if someone goes and follows that sound vibration, then don't see the lotus feet of Krishna. No, no, don't do that. Don't see the waist of Krishna. Never look into the chest of Krishna. Don't at all see his hands holding the flute. Dare not look into the face of Krishna. Dare not. Not look into his face. Dare not look into his lips. Dare not look into him smiling. That's a must know. Must know. Don't see him. Don't see his smile. Otherwise, you will be doomed, honestly. Otherwise, we will be doomed. We won't be able to smile, laugh with our friends, family member when, when say, England versus Germany and Germany scores goal, we won't be able to relish or say uh, India versus West Indies and India wins the World Cup final, we won't be able to relish. You get a promotion in job, you won't be happy then. If you start seeing the smiling face of Krishna. And uh, now some things in life should not be done. What? Don't look into the eyes of Krishna. Mm -hmm. Even if you have looked into the eyes of Krishna, do not let Krishna see you. Do not let him see you. If he has seen you, even more dangerous is what? Somehow, somehow protect yourself from hearing the flute of Krishna, somehow protect yourself if you want to have sanity in life. If you still want to be sober, you know, if you want to be sober in life, don't look into the sound vibration, don't hear the sound vibration, the flute, the smile of Krishna, don't look him into the eye. Don't let him see you. But one thing honestly is a must know. It should never happen that your eyes and Krishna's eyes, they meet each other. If that happens, then calamity, disaster, destruction. No one can save them. If our eyes and Krishna's eyes meet up, then that is calamity, complete. Complete material life distorted, vanished. Complete material life doomed. No material pleasure, no material success, nothing. Nothing. One won't be able to find any good joy with friends, family, all cut off. So please don't do this. Don't do this. Don't ever aspire, desire to make eye contact with Krishna. Then one cannot sustain. Never. So, uh, In being sober in society, actually, this is the message of Rupa Goswami, how we see. Being sober in society is actually mad. One who is living as a sober gentleman in society, now, okay, I work for an insurance company, let's say, someone could be working in finance, or oh, I pay taxes, um, I, I'm a good person, I'm a good son, I'm a good brother, I'm a good family man, I'm a good taxpayer, I don't have any fights with anyone, I don't have any crime and or anything, history, no bad record, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't eat, eat meat, I don't gamble, any of this, no illicit relations and all. So if one is sober, such sobriety actually in Krishna consciousness, <laughs> he's mad. 
such sobriety, but if he's not going to Vrindavan, if he's not going to Kesi Ghat, if he's not going to looking into the sound vibration of the flute of Lord Sri Krishna, if he's not searching for Krishna, if he's not uh, hankering for the darshan of Krishna, then his sobriety is mad. He is mad. And one who is actually desiring to be mad in Krishna consciousness, he is sober. He is sober. He is sober. One who is desiring to be uh, mad in uh, Krishna consciousness. So this is the message of Rupa Goswami. It is up to us. What do we want? Sobriety or being mad? Prima Mugda Oya Pagidini Praya Gai Bo Radha Rayasa. So we want to be this this madness has to come about. So this copy, you see what happens now. This copy, she saw Krishna's flute, she saw Krishna's hands, she saw Krishna play, playing flute, she saw Krishna's chin, she saw Krishna's lips, she saw Krishna's face, she saw him uh, his eyes. Uh, she looked at his eyes, stunned, stunned statue. Krishna looked at him, who doomed. And you know, calamity, tsunami, beyond description. They both looked at each other, same time. Krishna looking at this gopi, this gopi looking at Krishna, same time. She is finished. She is finished. Her worldly life, who is her mother-in-law, who is her sister-in-law, who is her husband, everything gone. Everything. Everything. That's what, that is Krishna consciousness. And then Krishna, oh, I was looking for my calf. Oh, calf, you are here. Okay, come, let us go. Then Krishna returns with the calf, playing his flute in his style. And he goes back and he joins with his friends. And this girl, this girl, little did she know, this copy, little did she know. She had some vague idea from her mother-in-law, sister-in-law, other Brajwasis. But once experience is once experience, she never experienced this. Whatever she could fit in her mind, she could fit it. But experience and her experience, whatever she could fit in her mind, everything got shattered, beaten by her experience. Now, wow. Who can describe her experience and what is she experiencing? She lost, she is stunned, she has become a statue. Now what happens? <laughs> this gopi, <laughs> she, she cleaned all the house, uh, swept and all. And what has she done? She is throwing the dust, all the dust collected in the dustpan. She is throwing it all inside rather than in the bin. And in the bin, she has put the broom. In the bin, she has put the broom and all the dust inside. Now, her mother-in-law and sister-in-law come home and they see, where is the broom? The broom is in there and this is there. And she stunned. She sat, sat down there and unable to speak, unable to move. Now, mother-in-law and daughter-in-law sees her condition. They think, okay, she's homesick, missing her mom, missing her brother and all, missing her hometown, homesick. Maybe she needs fresh air. Maybe we tied her too much in the house. Let us let her go out. So this, so they send her, okay, you go out, actually, uh, and fetch some water. Bring us some water, actually. Get some fresh air. It would be nice for you to get some fresh air and give us some water. So they give her water pot. Okay, take this water pot and fetch us some water. And also take this young boy, one of the young child, take him out for a walk and with water. So that is village girls, they do it. So she went to fetch water from the pond, from the river and with water pot and a boy, uh, family boy. And what is she doing? Rather than throwing actually the matka, the ghada, the water pot into the well to fetch the water, what is she doing? She's throwing the boy. She's about to throw the boy in the well. Uh, that, that sort of thing. Just she's held by other gopis and all. And oh, what are you doing? You are about to throw the boy in the well. Oh, okay. So they put the boy. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then they will okay, this is the water pot and throw the water pot. Yeah. Yeah. So this thing, uh, and uh, she faints all together. Coming back home, she's fainting, dizzy. So they say, okay, uh, maybe the gopis seeing her condition that she's fainting, she has fainted, she's not able to speak, she's not saying anything, she's not experiencing anything, we don't know what is going on. Maybe they say, maybe she went out to fetch water and all. Could it be the heat, the sun? Or maybe she has bitten by a she has been bitten by a snake. Hmm? Maybe a black snake. She has been bitten by a black snake. Now some of the gopis giggle. Yes, actually she has been bitten by a black snake. Or this by this <coughs> black Kalya Kalura <laughs> by this Krishna Kanaya of ours. <laughs> By the son of Yashoda, son of Nanda, maybe she is bitten by him. Uh, they say, okay, get an exorcist, a ghost. She has been captured, possessed by a ghost. Yes, she has been possessed, but no exorcist can free him now. No exorcist can free her now. She has been possessed, but by whom? <laughs> by this ghost of Braj, our ghost, our Sri Krishna. So this is Krishna Consciousness, Baba. This is Krishna Consciousness. It is up to us. Do we want to stay sober in this world or do we want to actually become mad? So internally we should be burning. Internally we should be really in pain. We should be burning, anchoring. That when or when this? When will I go to Vrindavan? Uh, when do I reach Vrindavan? When do I go to Parikrama Mar? Uh, when do I go... To Kesi Ghat, Shingar Ghat, all this Leela study. Yeah. When do I go there? When do I listen to the call of the flute of Krishna? When do I see Krishna? Yeah. When do I have this eye contact? See? That should be our hankering, that should be our mood. And as devotees explain very nicely, you know, uh, earlier what was what? That... Uh, even now, maybe it so happens in small villages and towns and all, that people congregate and they go for festival, they go to some temple, pilgrim places, and they walk one day, two day, or three, four, five days. They walk there. And as they are walking, they sing and chant. They sing and chant the glories. So, Ekadashi or other days, many come to do Govardhan Parikrama. And they come from far off places, two, three days walk. So they walk for two, three days to come to Govardhan. And then again, they walk for the rest of the day and doing uh, circumstance of the Govardhan, Hengi, Raj, Parikrama, they do. And look at the mood. They are walking. As they are walking, they are chanting the glories, the pastimes of Lord Shri Krishna. This should be the mood. Na? So <clears throat> before the body is entering Raj, through our consciousness, through our mind, we have already entered there. Before the body enters, Braj. But nowadays we go, we take flight. And we reach Vrindavan wherever from America, maybe 15, 16 hours, 20 hours, from somewhere you rope 10 hours, and you reach there. So the body has reached, but the consciousness, the mind is still calculating Europe time zone or American time zone. Or what is going and all. And it takes a few days to stabilize the body and mind. Okay, now I'm in Vrindavan. So it shouldn't be like this. Before we, the body just follows. The heart has to be there. The consciousness, the mind has to be there. Body will just follow. So Mora Man Vrindavan. We have to make it like this. Wherever we stay, Griye Thako, Bone Thako, Na Thake Janjal. Wherever we are. We create a Vrindavan consciousness, Raj consciousness, and we live in that consciousness. Hmm. So we wholeheartedly desire to take this message of Rupa Goswami. Indirect message is our direct message, actually. No, so love is indirect, but actually when we are in love, <laughs> this language of love is the most beautiful. Uh, so we take this language of love indirectly, or actually directly Rupa Goswami is encouraging us. That the only way to free ourselves from material attachments is becoming attached to Krishna. Only Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna.
कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर काइंड पेशेंस अटेंशन एनकरेजमेंट इफ दी क्वेश्चन कमेंट्स और क्लैरिफिकेशन दैन प्लीज से नॉट श्योर यू मे फाइंड आंसर और नॉट आंसर But this is love. In love, uh, complain is actually praise. And when you praise someone, it's actually complain. You are having a complain. Shri Mati Radha Rani, what does she say? Uh, that uh, forest is home to me. Forest is home to me, and home is forest to me. Forest meaning what? Woods. We are again here, blessed to be living in Karuna Bhavan, Iskcon, Scotland, encouraged by this wonderful community of devotees, all encouraging us to take shelter of um, Mahapurush, to take shelter of Shila Prabhupada, to take shelter of Mahajan, pure devotees, Guru Dev, Acharyas, current vargas, hmm, Guru vargas, uh, and uh, this on top of a hill, beautiful temple, Karuna Bhavan, surrounded by so much of. Uh, greenery, nature, forest, woods. We have uh, at the bottom of the hill. We go, although we never explored again. We never got chance to actually explore. But someday maybe we'll explore woods mm, and streams, water flowing, birds chirping, trees. Sit down there and read, uh, chant. Uh, do bhajan all together so radha rani says forest is home to me when she is out in the forest groves of vrindavan with her sakis manjaris that is home to her with krishna and home is forest to her when she is in the house protected within the walls by a husband a so called husband of women new mother in law daughter in law sister in law that's like forest to her very dangerous she feels suffocated Likewise, for us as well, we need to uh, pray, pray, beg for mercy, beg for mercy, so that we can wholly uh, attain, we can wholly relish, we can wholly imbibe desire to have what Mahaprabhu actually wants to give to us. Uh, we take it wholeheartedly. So we have to pray for bluntly. We have to beg for mercy. Do good sadhana, reading, hearing, chanting, stay in good, inspiring association. Well, yeah, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Mm. So it is the thing in societal sense. Love is the most talked about phenomena in emotion, but the least understood or the most misunderstood. But it is in Krishna consciousness only that we can actually pray to understand love. We can pray to be an instrument of love. We can pray to be the servant of love. Hare Krishna. Leave it here.